Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel Explore Edu TT. This topic that we are going to learn now is the Fourier transform topic, in which we are going to cover continuous time Fourier transform that is CTFT, the discrete time Fourier transform DTFT, and the Laplace transform that is the LT. So we will be covering this in different videos. In this video, we will be talking majorly about CTFT that is the continuous time Fourier transform. I'll give you a basic understanding about CTFT and we'll try to solve a single numerical on it if possible. The next video will also be on CTFT itself. So we'll be covering different concepts and trying to include various numericals also in that. And then we will go for DTFT that is the discrete time Fourier transform, the Laplace transform, so on and so forth. So starting with the CTFT that is the continuous time Fourier transform. So what is the Fourier transform? So Fourier transform is basically a part or extension of Fourier series. There are many types of transform like CTFT, DTFT, DFT, Z transform. A video on Z transform is already uploaded on my YouTube channel in the Sigma and System playlist. So if you haven't watched it, you can go and watch it out. Laplace transform, so on and so forth. So we will be talking now about CTFT that is the continuous time Fourier transform. So continuous time Fourier transform is basically given as if x of t is my input signal. Since it's continuous time it is x of t. Fourier transform of x of t is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity x of t e raised to minus j omega t dt. I have also covered all these formulas in a single sheet and uploaded it on my Instagram page also. The links are given down in the description box of my Instagram page. Please go and watch it out. You can download the particular formula sheet from there also. And do not forget me to follow on Instagram because the similar updates and all the formula sheets are regularly up uploaded on my Instagram page. So basically, continuous time Fourier transform will deal with Fourier transform of x of t is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity x of t e raised to minus j omega t dt. DTFT we will be talking about later. Okay, so the what is the most important part is the condition for existence of Fourier transform. So as I told you there are different kind of Fourier transform. One of them being CTFT that is the continuous time Fourier transform which is given as Fourier transform of x of t is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity x of t e raised to minus j omega t dt. Now what are the different conditions for this Fourier transform to exist? That is a very important point. So let us see the first point in order to say that why do Fourier transform actually exist and what are the conditions for it to exist? So, the x of t should be absolutely integrable. That is, integration minus infinity to infinity x of t dt should be less than infinity. The first point. Second point is, x of t should have infinite number of maxima and minima within any finite interval. And x of t can have finite number of discontinuous within any interval. So, this can be a little theoretical for you. So just understand that the CTFT is continuous time Fourier transform which is given as x of t. It is given as Fourier transform x of t is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity x of t e raised to minus j omega t dt. For the conditions for the Fourier transform to exist is given as x of t should be absolutely integrable. Integration minus infinity to infinity x of t dt smaller than infinity. The x of t should have finite number of maxima and minima within any finite interval. And the third point as I told you should have finite number of discontinuous within any interval. So what are the applications of Fourier transform? Basically my Fourier transform converts my time domain signal. It can also be a discrete signal in case of DTFT into frequency domain signal. Now what is the significance of having a frequency domain signal? From a frequency domain signal, a system frequency spectrum can be analyzed. So if you want to actually analyze the frequency spectrum of a signal, Fourier transform needs to be applied because this Fourier transform will convert my time domain signal 
or a discrete domain signal into frequency domain signal and this frequency domain signal can be analyzed in that way and the frequency spectrum can be further divided into two parts that is the magnitude spectrum and the phase spectrum so let us try to understand few formulas that we will be learning and try to apply that onto a particular numerical in this particular video so that you understand how do we relate all these formulas onto a numerical so i told you this already x of t is given as x of omega that is ct of t and x of omega is given as integration minus infinity to infinity x of t e raised to minus j omega t dt the x of t can be found out by inverse fourier transform which is given as 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity x of omega e raised to j omega t d omega so these are the most important formulas as i told you they are all uploaded in one single page on my instagram page the links are given down in the description box so please check it out from there and follow me on instagram for such updates so x of omega is given as this formula and if you want to find x of t if x of omega is given it is given as inverse fourier transform the next thing is just a basic theoretical thing if x of t is given as real and even the x of omega is also x of omega is a fourier transform is also real and even similarly if my x of t is real and odd the x of omega is given as imaginary and odd so you should know this thing this can be like a theoretical kind of question or can be also applied in the numerical so just remember this basic formula that x of omega is nothing else than uh, C, uh, the ctft of x of t x of omega is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity x of t e raised to minus j omega t dt and the x of t is given as 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity x of omega e raised to j omega t d omega next i have the x of t given as real and even the x of omega will also be real and even if x of t is real and odd the x of omega is going to be imaginary and odd okay a simple trick is given uh, how to remember this uh, on my instagram id on instagram page that is explore id to teach so you can uh, check it from there i will give a simple trick you know, to remember uh, this particular thing so you can check it there from there next now what are the properties see this property is very well because below we are going to solve a numerical on this particular this is a numerical on the properties that we have over here so just try to understand this property it will be easy for you to apply it in the form of a numerical okay so x of t is given as x of omega x of t minus t naught is given as e raised to minus j omega t naught x of omega similarly e raised to plus or minus j omega naught t x of t is given as x of omega minus plus omega naught so what you understand is that if your plus and minus is given the fourier transform is minus and plus okay if from a time domain signal you are moving into a frequency domain signal the sign remains the same x of t is x of omega similarly x of t minus t naught is given as e raised to minus j omega t naught x of omega so the minus is given as minus only but if you want to convert this time domain into a frequency domain e raised to plus or minus j omega naught t x of t is given as x of omega minus plus omega naught so the plus minus is given as minus plus Similarly, x of t is x of omega, x of a t is given as 1 by mod a into x of omega by a, fine. Now, x of t cos omega naught t is given as half into x of omega minus omega naught plus x of omega plus omega naught. Similarly, x of t sin omega naught t is given as 1 by 2 j x of omega minus omega naught minus of x of omega plus omega naught. So I hope I am very clear with this formula. They are very important. So just understand these properties. X of t is x of omega. X of t minus t naught will give you e raised to minus j omega t naught x of omega. This minus will be of same sign like this. If it's a plus over here, it will be plus over here as well. Similarly, e raised to plus or minus j omega naught t x of t is given as x of omega minus plus omega naught. That means it shows that if there is a plus over here, it will be minus. If there is a minus over here, it will be plus x of t is x of omega, x of a t is 1 by mod a x of omega by a, 
then you have this formula as well. So let's try to understand this. Now y of t is given as x of t plus half plus x of minus t plus half. Find y of omega. So y of omega is going to be the addition of two individual Fourier transform of this and this. So x of t, so let us take the first one, x of t plus half. x of t I told you is equal to x of omega, right? See, we have written it time and again. x of t is given as x of omega. And x of t plus half will be x of omega e raised to j omega t naught that is half. So it is given from the above formula. x of t is x of omega. x of t minus t naught is equal to e raised to minus j omega t naught x of omega. So the minus over here indicates the minus over here as well. So x of t is x of omega. x of t plus t naught is given as x of omega e raised to j omega t naught. I hope I am very clear. Let us take the next part. So we are going to start building it in blocks, right? x of t is x of omega. But x of minus t is 1 by mod a into x of omega by a. Now what is my a over here? It is minus 1. So minus 1 minus 1 will give you x of minus omega. Similarly, just extend t, just replace t with t minus half will give you finally x of minus t plus half. So t minus half will be equal to x of minus omega e raised to minus j omega t naught because minus over here will be like minus over here as well. So the final y of omega is equal to this value plus this value. It may find out. So it's just the application of my formula which is given over here onto this numerical. The notes are present down in the description box as well. So please you can go and download it from there. Uh, also, if you liked my particular video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram as well. The links are given down. Please listen to this topic very well. Share it to as many people as you can. Because next topic, if you see, is going to be a continuation of CTFT itself. Wherein we will be solving numericals on CTFT. We will be learning few properties and applying them again onto some numericals of gate exams also. Okay. So please do watch this video and share it to as many people as you can. Thank you so much guys. Thanks.